A lot of patients ask me if every doctor knows that a blastocyst transfer has a higher success rate than a day 3 transfer, then why do doctors continue transferring embryos on day 3? And I think that's a great question. And the reality is that they make up all kinds of flimsy excuses for why they want to put the embryo back on day 3. And the commonest thing I have heard is, oh, an embryo belongs in the human body. An embryo should be put back in the natural conditions. The natural environment is far better than the embryo than an artificial embryo environment, which is what we find in an incubator. Why do you want to put an embryo in an artificial incubator when you can put the embryo back where it belongs in the human body, where it's under natural circumstances? Sounds very logical, sounds very tempting. But you know what? These doctors are lying to you. You know why they're lying to you? They're lying because their individual IVF laboratory, their incubator is not very good. So they don't have any confidence in their embryologist's ability to grow these embryos to day five. Something which all good clinics do all over the world routinely all the time. Which is why they want to put the embryo back in your uterus. And if that embryo fails to implant, that's your problem. But what they don't tell you is that day three embryo does not belong to the uterus. It actually belongs in the fallopian tube. Now, doctors cannot put back embryos in the fallopian tube and therefore putting it back in the uterus is not good for your embryo and definitely not good for you because it doesn't belong in the uterus. This is how they actually reduce your chance of getting pregnant. And what's worse is they add insult to injury by blaming you for the failure by saying, hey, we put a top quality day three embryo and if you didn't get pregnant, that's your problem. Please don't allow your doctor to take you for a ride. That's an expensive error and it's not something which you can afford a mistake to be made because you're reducing your chance of getting pregnant by allowing the doctor to cheat you.